Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast, episode 156. Hope you guys have been well and safe. Massive shout-outs to everybody who's been showing the support to the channels, man. You guys have been going in on the podcast, uh, on the streaming services. You guys are absolutely awesome. G-Man, how's it going, bro? G-Man's back in his own reality again. Singapore in his own place, not locked up for 14 days. Bless him. He, he made it. He made it. He came out. He's a hero, man. He's heroes. <laughs> they called me a hero. I was like, I'm no hero. This is basic. I paid like $2,000, Singapore dollars. I chilled. I was a bum. I played video games. I had food, everything. And they called me a hero. I was like, all right, cool. I'll take it. But no, I'm no hero. Yeah, man, back in the uh, back in the crib, bro. It's been four months since I've been here. Had to sort out so much shit. My girl's been looking after the place, which has been cool. Uh, some new accessories she bought me, which are kind of cool. These little pillows and whatnot. Um... But yeah, it's been good, bro. It's been good. I mean, the truth is, Monday, Monday coming up will be start of reality. I mean, I've mm. been, you know, at home for three months. I was in Dubai, Singapore. I was in, in locked in a hotel for two weeks, and then this week I kind of took off to chill with my girl and just sort shit out at home. Uh, and then Monday is back to reality: work, routine, training, eating right, everything, man, everything. Mm. So. Yeah, and Ramadan starts next week. So when I say back to routine, it's going to be a Ramadan routine. But, you know, I need to yeah. train and eat and get back to work and just live normal again, uh, I guess, back to reality world. But it's been good. It's good to be home, man. It's good to be home um, back here and just, you know, be in my own element, I guess. Mm. No, totally, man, totally. It's good. It's good to see that. It's good to see that happen. Uh, I mean, there's a lot that's happened this week in the geeky world. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of things, but uh, condolences. I think the biggest one that hit me yesterday and was DMX, bro. And I'm going to yeah. start it off with that because that guy's music was crucial to our growing up into the hip-hop industry. And, you know, I was reading loads of stuff online and, like, there was an article I was reading before Ati sent that link saying that he had passed where people were saying, stop making rumours up. Uh, the manager, his manager was saying, stop making rumours up. The, the media and social media are talking all sorts of shit. And then uh, Ati sent that, and I was like, is this legit? Is this legit? And then it was like, rah, man. The guy was suffering. You know, hopefully he went peacefully, man, after. But he, he had his own suffering that he was going through as well. Uh, but, yeah, people, man, people on online have been, it was horrendous. Bro, horrendous, absolutely horrendous. And... Uh, but yeah, man, bless him, bless his soul, man. You know, he he played. You know, legacy will live on. His his music will live on for, even though we hear it from time to time. But you know, as soon as you hear a track, you know who it's from, and just the way he was, man. Movies as well. He was, you know, he did movies with Jet Li, Steven Seagal, Exit Wounds, Romeo. Is it Romeo Must Die? Mm. Uh, he did a one with Mark Cascos as well, bro. That was Romeo Must Die. No, no, no. Exit Wounds. Exit Wounds. There was oh, another one. No, that was with Steven Seagal, bro. There's another one. Mark DeCascos. I know Jet Li and Mark. Uh... It's Mark mm. DeCascos. And they fight in fire with Jet Li. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Uh, which one? Uh, I watched it the other day, in fact. I swear I watched it the other day. Uh, and him and Eminem done a great soundtrack to it. Yes, right? bro. That's the one. And it uh, had that Tom Arnold guy, that comedian. Oh, uh, hold up, man. I'm f I have to find out the name of this. Uh, you know, come on. Uh, I know you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've gone blank. I know I watched it the other day. Shit. Blank. I can't find it. Google it. So let's find out the movie. So Exit Wounds, Cradle to the Grave. Cradle to the Grave. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, legend. Uh, anyway. I agree. I agree, man. You know, this was one of the ones where I felt like he was in my head. You know, he's in my on my mind. Uh, and every time I saw a picture of me, or not a meme, but like condolences or not, RIP picture, I was like, damn, DMX, DMX, because I, I heard ages, and he was on had drug problems and all that sort of shit. And then um, and then after I sent that message, and I quickly checked online just to double check. And uh, I was like, fuck, DMX. And like I said, he was on. It was on my mind. And like you said, it was. The music we grew up is a time of music that we were big into hip hop. Everything hip hop, we we bought every album that came out. We were so into it at that time, and DMX was a big part of that. 
You know, he made an impact in our lives. And even if it's a small impact, it's an impact. You know, because rest in yeah. peace, Prince Phillips as well, because he passed away. My man, 99 years, I think it was, great life and everything. But I was just saying, like, you know, the reason why I'm not really, yeah, there's no impact in my life. Maybe he's done, look, I, I'm not even saying, I don't know anything about that empire or whatnot and what they've done. But maybe, I'm sure there is shit, right? But I, nothing in my life. bro. You are but breaking I, ear. Connection lost. Oh, oh, Hold up, bro. Hold on the line for a second. Don't go nowhere. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear you. I can see you. Oh, now you've got frozen. Yes, we're oh. back, bro. Are oh, you back? Oh, sorry about that. And oh. it's still recording. See, I like Skype, bro. Skype don't mess around, bro. Skype's all right. Skype's all right. But yeah, no, Prince Philip, you were saying, bro. Yeah, I was saying, yeah, you know, rest in peace to him. He lived till 90 years old. Um, but I was talking to someone earlier and I was like, look, I mean, I don't think is DMX made an impact in my life. Even it was a little bit, but there was an impact in my life. I remember him. I remember the music. I remember listening to Slipping and just kind of like... You know, just trying to relay or whatever, just feeling it and whatnot. Um, and and but Prince Phillips, like I said, I'm look. I don't know anything about the monarchy and all that stuff and what they've done. I've never, I've never sh had interest, which is why I don't know anything. Right? All I know is Princess Diana is my queen. But I don't because he's there's no impact. There's no emotional impact at all. I don't. I'm I'm not. You know, rest in peace. But I'm not gonna express it because there is nothing to. You know, what he wasn't inspiring. Even even that there's people out there that's that's never made an impact in my life, but I've seen something and I'm like, that's fucking inspiring. And I'll show a bit of emotion towards it. But I don't know, there's nothing for me to say that he inspired me in any sort of way. So I'm not there. But with with DMX, like there was inspiration back then. There was you know, he made you feel good with his music, right? Then the stories he would tell within his music were also touching as well. But he, he made an impact, man. Especially, like I said, in that time of period, that was when I was big into hip hop from 1995 to 2001. You know, from Pop Biggie and then up to Pun and all that sort of stuff. DMX was a big part of that, man. I was deep into hip hop then. Um, so, yeah, man, he was on my mind a lot, man. He was on my mind a lot. I was like, damn, X, you know, 50 as well. That's, that's young, but he was on shit, man. I mean, that's what the problem is. It's not that. You know what can it's not that you expect it but what can what you know what can you do if it's on shit and it's unfortunately there was on that he was going through his own shit his own demons mm. um but yeah man rest in peace dmx you know bless him bless his family hope god can forgive him for his sins bless him paradise mm. um yeah legend man he, he's definitely a legend in our in our world anyway of course, bro definitely he play he plays a massive part massive part uh yeah man so that was the the main two just want to do a, a quick shout out to skype for even connection loss and still recording and saving my things zoom you're basic that's what i'm saying i had a massive massive i have to say it on the podcast so people know i had a really interesting conversation with one of my friends called archer he's a musician uk hip-hop probably one of my favorite uk hip-hop artists and corrupt file game so zoom you lose plugging and plugging don't message me on twitter and tell me how can i help you and then don't even respond to my messages you're just trying to look like a nice guy but didn't follow through to actually help me fuck you zoom Basic. Basic. <laughs> but let's uh let's talk about should have tested it sorry sorry so to cut you man but with the new software new whatever you know let's just test it we'll do our thing like do a five yeah, minutes. Yeah, I, I, it's my fault as well. I pulled a rookie mistake as well because I use Zoom for my work calls yeah, as well. So I thought, you know what? It's pretty good, decent quality. It never drops signal and stuff like that. But it's like Skype, I think through and through is the one for me. The thing was, I was trying to work out, you know, when you get the boxes side to side. I know. It's I know, like you get the cut in the middle, which I, I I don't I don't like that look. I want to change it. I want I want the the viewers and the, yeah. the who listen to it to have a better view to say actually you know what I want to watch the show more. Uh, 
So yeah, I'm, maybe um, yeah, let's figure it out. Maybe we test around with it. I know fuck them for now, but maybe we test around with it and see if we can make it work in the future. Wrong, but for now, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, basic. I would, I was, it was, that's interesting. I would have loved to have heard that, man. No, it was so good, man. Even if I can pull off the MP3, then at least I can still put the video up on YouTube with images. And then, you know, I know anybody who listens on the podcast on uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, then, you know, you don't really see our faces. So it's all I want, man. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to continue, but I've, I've spent so many hours last <laughs> night and this morning to try and work it out. The fact that Zoom are so basic to send me that message and tell me, nah, nah, free free account games, you bastards. Yes. Yes. Uh, but yeah, move on. We we move on to more geeky stuff. I mean, uh, I got those comics come through the other day, Berserk, which is Keanu Reeves ones. So I know there's issue two out already. Uh, I need to wait for that. And I'm going to wait for issue two and then I'm going to start reading it. So that looks really good. As you guys can see, I'm doing a little revamp here. I'm going to put my eBay in the link. And I know some of you who do watch, if you're interested in some Funko Pops, I've got some Funko Pops from my collection that I'm putting in the sale. I'm narrowing down things, so I'm plugging my eBay there. So that's the other part. Uh, but let's jump into big news with Netflix, man. Did you hear about it? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. So Netflix. That deal so with Sony. Making a deal. We're going to see Mobius, Venom 2. Into the Spider Verse, all coming onto Netflix, man. That's that's massive. That Sony didn't have that on their own platform. Yeah. Also, do they have their own platform? That's probably what they it have, is. Do they, they have a they Sony do? and a Sony channel, bro? Oh well, maybe it's not as popular, and they maybe they wanted ex- big exposure with Netflix because that's the biggest in the game, right? So mm. maybe they just wanted more exposure rather than going head on head with Netflix and and all the other ones, Disney and all that sort of stuff. Um, make some money is that way yeah why not why not and plus they got they got the rights to those characters like you know from oh, they got so much other content but in regards to those characters those popular ones spider-man specifically um why not go head to head with disney with sony or no, with netflix you know what i mean it just kind of pumps up the value of that character i mean the marvel uh, disney obviously they're kicking themselves from selling it but they had to right at that time but you know, it, it, it values, it brings more value to them, brings more eyeballs and brings more attention to, you know, Sony and their products and the characters they have and all that sort of stuff. Um, but that's big. I mean, I wonder how they're going to do it because um, like Morbius, when it comes out, is it going to come out on Netflix straight away? Is there going to be a premium Netflix where you got to buy it? Like, like what Disney's doing with, with their premium movies? Like, I wonder that how that's going to be or that, is it just going to be cool? Just take it, pull it on it. Put on, pull it on, you know, as normal Netflix does, because Netflix always do that, but they always do that with their own content, you know what I'm saying? With their That's own content, they release it, but this is not, this time it's not their own content, and obviously it's a big, it's a big movie, so interesting, great. man. No, I'm looking forward to that, man, that looks, that's great news, that is great news, uh, we're going to get some more stuff. Uh, I won't be surprised if one day Disney decide to buy up Sony. Like, fuck it, we can't take Spider-Man back. Just give us everything and we'll give you <laughs> another 75 billion or some shit I'll like that. I not be surprised at all, bro. Uh, yeah, no, that's hilarious. They probably, they would do, but I swear they got stopped by the government from buying any more companies. Fucking hell, man. They own everything, man. Oh, they're smashing it at the moment. They're smashing it. Did you see the trailer to Loki, bro? Yes. Oh, my God, that was good. Yeah, we tried to go live, but there was a miscommunication. That was last week. When was that? That was yeah, this yeah, week. I think like early this week, bro. It came out. Very. Yeah, so I, brought, I just got released on Tuesday for out, of, out of quarantine, and I feel like that was weeks ago. It's mad how time yeah. flies, bro. Don't, time don't wait for no man no. Uh, or woman or human. Um, yeah, but that trailer was wicked. It looked awesome. That's going to oh. be sick. And the, the fact that it relates back to what the... Um, the ancient one was talking to Bruce Banner about in the end games about the the different like bro, it goes straight into that and that was that's gonna be so good. I'm interested to see what they what 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 they're gonna go with. And my main thing is like Owen Wilson, they got a great cast in this as well, yeah, because mm. Owen Wilson looks wicked in it. Awesome. Um, Love that dude. And they vibe off each other really well. I think they will. I think. They, I mean, the thing is with Owen Wilson, I swear anyone that's with him, he partners. He just vibes so good. He's yeah. 
he's got that that style he's got he's the type of actor like most movies when you see him you're like oh i want to watch this because yeah, yeah he's just got a vibe about him he's just like movie. Taylor, bro. still one of my favorite films yeah. he was absolutely wicked in that movie yeah. It's so basic, it's unbelievable. But uh Drew Book Taylor, guys, if you haven't seen it, shit is hilarious. It's one of my funny it's one of my top ten funny films, I've I've got to say. Hilarious. Comedies. He's in he's he's there in that in, in that league. Uh but yeah, that's a good trailer, man. There's loads of things to pick up. I'm so interested. The main thing I want to see is um that scene he's with Natasha, uh with Black Widow. I wanna see what the hell's going going on there. Uh is he in the soul? What's that, sorry? Do you think that's her? It looks like her. It looks like her, man. I mean, it looks so much like her. Um, and I was thinking about this. Like, how come none of the Avengers got pulled up on this? But yeah, they, they fixed the timeline, right? That was the whole point. He that's... didn't fix the timeline. He, you know, whatnot. He's gone out and... Back. But the thing is, though, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. He used the Tesseract. I'm trying to think. He didn't go in time. He used the Tesseract to disappear, but because he used the Tesseract, he messed up the timeline. That's what it was, right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because I was thinking, how did he go back? How did he use the Tesseract to go back in time? But he didn't. It's just he used it to escape, which messed up that timeline. Bro, it's going to be good. I can't wait, man. Marvel's killing it. I know we're going to talk about Falcon with Soldier in a bit, but they, bro, so far, they have not let down at all. So this is going to be another great show. Yeah, without doubt, bro. I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, definitely going to be a. I'm I'm gonna like the humor. I'm gonna like where they're gonna take it. This is gonna be like the you know like we got. Uh, Wonder Vision, and it was more of a kind of mystical. There's something else. To, it was like a, it was a mystery that show. Then you get Falcon Winter Soldier, which is like all action packed shit, and then it goes back into kind of like other world stuff. Because mm. now it's expanded the universe massively, bro. Yeah. It's a massive, massive, massive thing there. Uh, another trailer dropped this week, which was really cool and I enjoyed as well. Space Jam 2. Uh, the new legacy? Yeah, new legacy is called. Mm. What did you think, bro? Yeah, it looks good, bro. It looks awesome. And I think, you know, the original was always awesome. I remember going to cinema watching that with Michael Jordan. That was awesome. Just, you know, Bugs Bunny and the whole... Mm. Warner Brothers, Looney Tunes. Is they, are they Looney Tunes? Are they, I think yeah. they're Looney Tunes, right? All, that, that, all of that into the, um, in the universe. Um, this one's going to have more, you know? I think with this whole universe thing, I'm, I won't be surprised. Someone posted a picture with Joker there and so many other characters in this. Uh, so I reckon this will have a lot more. Um, but I remember the first ever yeah. CD we ever bought. Do you remember? It was the soundtrack to uh, uh, Space Jam. Here my my uh, CB Real, Buster Rhymes, LL Cool J. Who was it? Cannabis? Yeah. Was it Cannabis? Yeah. Bro, was it Cannabis? No, I made that up. No, no, I don't think it's Cannabis. But I've been listening to Cannabis a lot recently. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Cannabis. But great soundtrack. That was the first CD we ever bought. Remember that? We bought that little um, um, Get Blaster. Blaster. That's it. That's it. Yeah. First CD player. Bro. Anyway, uh, the music was awesome. I don't know if, if I don't know if this will have a great soundtrack like that. Again, I don't I don't think so, uh, no. for my preferences. But yeah, yeah bro, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. I'll be, I'll be I hope they keep it as fun and interesting. This time he turned into a cartoon, so I don't. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked what they did before with Michael Jordan's one. Don't you uh, think they held that back though? They should have held that back. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know with the. I don't know. I, I'm to be honest with you. I'm just open. Too much away, bro. It's too much. Yeah, I mean to be honest with with Space Jam, I'm open to just accept whatever. I'm not too invested. Yeah. Uh, maybe if it was something I was fully invested, maybe I might do. But I'm not too invested. But I'm excited to see it. I'm, I mean, no, no doubt about it. I'm gonna go to cinema to watch that. Uh, when's it coming out? Jul- what is it? July or something? Oh uh, yeah. July. No doubt about. It, I'm gonna watch that. Uh, I don't know much. Of, the crazy thing is Michael Jordan was so impactful. Even though I don't follow basketball, I knew him. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I, I'm st- I still don't know shit about basketball. But I know... Um, um, what the fuck's his name? I see, I don't even know. LeBron James. LeBron, LeBron. Sorry, my bad, my bad. I, I know the name, but I don't... You know, I haven't watched basketball at all, so I have no idea. Anyway. Of course, of course. I mean, I, I'm, I'm on the same boat. We're, we're going back on nostalgia where... 
you're right, Michael jo- Jordan was massive, but he's like Michael Jackson of the basketball world, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's why it plays a big part. And then you've but got the whole water. Bugs Bunny and whatnot, so I'm going for all of that stuff too, yeah. so it's going to be fun. Uh, I think they're going to expand it and try and take it, obviously they're going to take it to new levels. Uh, it had, who else was in it? Who was, who was the main dude, the main bad guy? Who's it? Who's it? Yes, yeah, and he's awesome too, so... Yeah, of course. I'm going to go watch that, man. It looks awesome. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun movie, no doubt. Definitely. Uh, Deadpool animation, bro. I read something. Ryan Reynolds might be doing a Deadpool animation for Disney Plus or Disney Star, I guess, for Deadpool. It might be um, a thing. And, you know, I think Marvel should be doing more animations. I mean, they don't really do. They don't really invest too much in their their, um, Marvel animation cartoons. I mean, the Wolverine and the Hulk ones were awesome. Um, So they should be doing more different company in it so now I, I mean i don't even know when they're gonna bring out the what ifs yeah exactly oh yes yeah because they're gonna be awesome too um but yeah i don't know i saw that i mean i think we want more deadpool i think okay, who doesn't want more deadpool i mean ryan reynolds was freaking born for that character he's so awesome he played it so well uh looking forward to seeing him i want to see him interact with some of the characters that we got in the uh mcu i mean <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious but could you imagine him just annoying? Oh, bro. What's that? To you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Him finally, probably with Spidey or with, with Hulk or finally with Wolverine or something. You know, I mean, Marvel ain't going to hold back. They're going to pull it all in there, you know? So, him, the Punisher, whatever, man. Like, hopefully, they give us what we need to see, man, because that's going to be awesome. No, of course, of course. Definitely. Definitely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, man, they, they need it. We need an animation of it. And every time I see him in other animations, he's awesome. Yeah, so. in that one where Hulk versus Wolverine and uh, he was Deadpool was in there, he was hilarious in that. Yeah, he was, he was. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, you saw a movie yesterday, bro. Tell I us. saw a movie yesterday. Yes, I did. Uh, Mortal Kombat came out, bro. I didn't even realise it came out until a day before I saw something on... Facebook, I was like, holy shit, it's out. And then I booked it straight away. I watched it yesterday. Awesome, bro. It's yeah. awesome. So good. I mean, listen, man, fun, very violent, nostalgic. And then a little bit of cheese was added to it as well, which made it fun, which, which was made it fun. But it was awesome. Just like the trailer kind of blew you away. I'm not saying the whole movie will blow you away, but what I loved about it is it was very violent. It was Mortal Kombat style, style violent characters will look the way they did and also um, it got to the point it wasn't really a waste of time it just got to the point really and i like that about it i mean i think it kind of it, it didn't have to explain much about the story i didn't think i didn't need no crazy story it's two different realms more combat thing tournament or whatnot yeah. uh, whoever wins if he wins they would earth all that sort of shit got to the point cool here's earth's champions who are the characters that you've seen in the trailer mm-hmm. and then you know the you know, they added a couple of extra elements, I guess, but the nostalgic of, you know, the fatalities and whatnot was crazy. And Sub-Zero was awesome. Scorpion was, that's my dude, bro. He looks wicked. Oh, it was good. Liu Kang was good. Um, Raiden, all of them, man. They, they looked good. They looked apart. The and like I said, it was a more, it was violent as Mortal Kombat should be. Kano was man in the match. I don't want to spoil it. I won't spoil it. But he was, the, he was... Awesome, he was hilarious, bro. Like, so that's the guy he, who was in Superstore, yeah, the the, uh, the pharmacist, yeah, it's him, bro. Kano was hilarious. I'm not gonna say no more, but I just didn't. Ex- he, he kept the movie funny the whole film, yeah. uh, and he's still a badass, whatever he is, right? Uh, but he's they really, I never gave a shit about Kano ever in the video games in this. I was like, oh my god, I want to see more Kano. Um, so, yeah, Mortal Kombat. D- bro, check it out. It's awesome. Like I said, and they, they really... I want to see more. I, I want to see more. They left me at a point where I was like, yeah, I, I would definitely see more of this. I definitely want to see more of this. So, hopefully they expand on it and they, and they do bring us more. So, Mortal Kombat, check it out. Check it out. It's awesome. It's good when a movie can do that. It's always uh, uh, delightful when you want to see more. So, the director's and the people that put it together did a good job. That's the main thing. If you could do that to a person, to come back to the cinema, to watch it online or whatever, 
you've you've made a fan there. You know what I mean? That's it. And you stuck to the you stuck to the the source. The source is the video game, right? Uh, as long as you have elements of the video game, you as long as the characters look like the way they should do, then you're 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 on the right path. And that's the main thing. Um, you know, and then all the powers, because you know the original, the one they made back in the days, which they always do to make a movie, was you know basic at the time. But maybe that was technology. Maybe that's a restraint of technology yeah. and it, well, all that's that sort of stuff. Technology writers are not the same as they used to be. Producers are not the same. You know, because now you've got fans making this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bro. So this that this is the gap. Back then, when the game came out, you've got studio exec- executives that are not into gaming, they're, they're old school. All they do is just throw money so they could get anybody on a project saying, listen, I heard this game is doing good. I want to see a movie of it. Here's some money, go make it. There wasn't that much control in what was happening. And you had directors that were not fans. You had writers that are not fans of these characters. And then when you do something like this, where you have a, a fan base and then you have an actual guy who was playing Mortal Kombat at 11, 12 years old. So now he's 30 and he's like, I want to direct a movie. Mm. Get people like that, man. That's, you know, you're going to get something that's going to connect with the crowd because he's a fan of it as well. So when yeah. we watch Marvel stuff, everybody that works on those projects, they love Marvel comics. They love stuff. Yeah. They love the characters. You know, they love Spider-Man. That's why the movies have so much heart in it because these people actually generally love this product, you know what I mean? Uh, and the same thing with the DC stuff, man. You know, Zack Snyder, he loves those characters, man. He sees them as his mythological uh, Greek gods, you know what I mean? He, mm. When you see his stuff, bro, well, I mean, we've seen it. Like, it's magical what he does. He's a fan, man. He loves this shit. But people just kind of mix it up along the way. Studios will try and get involved. It's crazy. But this movie, like I said, man, and each of the characters, you kind of, you get to know each of the characters, you know? Like, there's 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 a good amount of time for you to get to know each of the characters a little bit and have a little connection with all of them. Uh, like I said, the one character that I thought that I wouldn't give a shit about was Kano, and I, I wanted to see more of Kano. Mm. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but he was just hilarious. That's all I'm saying. Like, he, throughout the whole film, <laughs> just got me busting up. Like, every, like... I'm laughing, it, almost like a comedy movie. I'm spoiling it. I shouldn't say too much. Just just watch it. Watch it. Um, no, no, we'll do but it was good. It, it was really good. And I, I definitely want to see more of, of more come back. Keep, keep that same kind of energy, that same kind of violence. Scorpion, that dude, bro, he's a real samurai. I should learn his name. I think I've said it before. But the main dude, the Japanese guy, I should learn his name. He looks fucking awesome. If I saw him on the street... I'll probably just bow to him, just, just, I know, even though he's an ordinary dude, I'll probably have to just bow to him and say, I'm sorry, don't touch me, don't hurt me. Uh, he's true samurai, man, I don't care. He must, whether he is or not, he's definitely got samurai li- li- lineage no, in he, his family. Like, like, you don't want to assume. Uh, his name is, uh, hopefully I say this right, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, he wrote, he wrote you. Hirokio, 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 Hiroki, Sanad, Sanad, Sanada. Hirokio, Sanada, San. All yeah. right. Well, yeah, he, he's, he, he just looked awesome. He's one of them dudes really. he's a, he's a samurai. He, I don't give a shit. His face comes from a samurai descent. <laughs> um, he's so awesome. Yeah, he plays it well. And... Yeah, man, it, it's sick. You know, and all this, all this time, I always thought back in the days, I always thought Scorpion was a bad guy. He, he was the good guy, man, this whole time. Or maybe they flipped it on us. But anyway, check it out, bro. And the animation was good. The way they used their powers was awesome. Sub Zero was brutal and awesome. Yeah, man, there was no holding back. I don't think there was any holding back, you know? Um, so I hope they keep the same energy and keep going. I'll check that out. I'll check that out. They started production on uh, Black Adam today. Started filming. The Rock's big on it, man. Well, The Rock is wanting to produce Man of Steel 2. Oh, he's he's powerful, man. He's a powerful dude. Like, he's, you know what I mean? Like, people like him. He's got a lot of influence, man. If he's even he's, he's even trying to. Um, we store the Snyderverse. He's a part of that, man. He wants that, right? So, may, bro, listen, having people like him on board, maybe it will help. Maybe he can make some, 
some talks to the studios or whatever and say, make that shit happen. He's been fighting for Henry Cavill Superman to be in this movie for so long and make a sh- thing, you know what I mean? So you never know, man. You never know. Like, I read something today, and this might be false, this might be bullshit, it might be a random poll, but a, a poll was taken and it says 46% of people want to see The Rock as the president, right? So yeah. if that is one thing, then, you know, that means that people want to want to be influenced by him, man. They want they want you know, they want, they want to run the countries. And so why not let him, you know, make Black Adam and produce Superman 2 and restore the Snyderverse, man, be a part of that. That's, that's big, bro. And of course, definitely, definitely. And more rumors as well with the, I mean, with the Snyderverse kicking off, like, well, the return, the, just getting Justice League out there, bro. It's, it's, it's made such a big impact on all the people that worked on that project, you know. Everybody got their own little redemption out of it as well. So I'm really happy for them all, man. And I love the movie, bro. I absolutely adore it. For me to go back and watch all these, like, different parts, it's just moist, man. absolutely love it. So moist. I'm going to watch it in black or white. There's a black and white version, so I'm going to watch it in that probably during the week sometime. But I'm going to watch it in parts. Yeah, I could. But I watched it twice already. I could definitely do it again. Brilliant. I mean, loads. Every, I don't. I haven't heard anyone come out of it and say that it was like shit. Some people might say, yeah, it was alright. You know, it was good and whatnot. No one's come out and said it was completely shit. Um, and that's saying a lot um, for a four-hour movie and whatnot. Uh, and especially because of the vibe of it. You know, people don't really like. The DC stuff just because it has a different color tone and all that sort of stuff, but like I said, the Snyderverse has opened up so many possibilities and so many um, stories that I want to see, man. Like that Batman Nightmare story is a is a movie that people will love to see. Exactly. Um, do you know what I mean? They should bank off this shit, man. Why not just? I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know how it works. They should just bank off it, man. Um, but yeah. With that, because he had creative freedom to do most of it, I know there was a, a little issue at the end because he couldn't use Green Lantern, uh, so he used Martian Manhunter instead to drop him into the story. But fucking hell, man, we would have got uh, a Green Lantern in this, man. And John Stewart, of you know, he bought he bought characters that he knew that were going to resonate with the people, bro. You know what I mean? So 100%. I'm really happy for the way he works and his vision as well. You know what I mean? So I hope. Let's see what happens when we never know. We we live in a world now where we never know. Who would have mm-hmm. thought that happened? You know what I mean? I am com- we're coming from a background where you know we were excited about the cartoons and movies. And when the movies came out, you're like, oh my god, these characters are on the big screen now. You know what I mean? So that appreciation of seeing something where a director and a studio made some really bad choices and released a film that you know you can't believe you actually released that. Like, mm-hmm. you, you I can't believe you did that to us, man. Goddamn, you lost my trust. You know what I mean? That's it. It's probably the same reason why Chappelle left the Chappelle show. Like, same mm-hmm. thing, studio saying, don't do this, don't say that. Do that. And he's like, fuck this. I'm yeah. out. You know what I mean? Like, and maybe they can learn something from this, man. Learn, of course, of take course. away some learnings, man. Like, shit, okay, you know, maybe we should have just listened to Snyder. Maybe this project will just give it to Snyder. We'll, we'll get involved with other shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, maybe they, hopefully they can learn from it. Like, because it'd just be silly if, if you don't learn from what just happened, basically, you know? Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah, no, hopefully, man. I want to see more. And The Rock, anyway, in Black Adam, he's going to be awesome. The Rock really takes everything serious. I, you know, every time, and in, the reason why I say he takes it seriously, like if you follow his Instagram, man's in the gym, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., like getting pumped for this movie. Like he's putting the work in, and that's his way of putting the work in. He's going to do the part, he's going to do the acting, he's going to do all that sort of shit, but his physical appearance, his physical presence, he don't fuck around, man, and he puts the work in. Uh, he done that for Hobbs and Shaw. He's doing that for this. He like, he puts the work in. I love the guy's work ethic. You can't uh, you can't good. fault his work ethic. It's the best. I wonder what time he goes to sleep, bro. Bro, I reckon he's one of them dudes that do four or five hours and like, cool, I'm good. Got a little rest. Let's get back to it. Um, I don't think he he. That Mark Wahlberg's routine as well. Remember? Yeah, he still goes to bed at seven, wakes up at two, and gets cracking. Mm crazy it's a good time you know 
It's the best time. They're, they're awesome. They're awesome. I mean, I need to get back. I mean, Ramadan's coming up, so I'm not going to do my mornings. But I do, after the Ramadan, let's see, I might get back into my mornings or what. Okay. No, but at the end of the day, it's, it, it's, it's the work ethic that they put behind it, man. It's, it's what, what, The work's inspiring. And he's, such, he's so lovable. I, I swear, he's, he's, yeah, he's the dude, bro. Love that dude. No, definitely, definitely. All right, before we hit the main topic, bro, let's uh, talk about this Bomba Clark 19 inch Hasbro Optimus Prime, bro. Did you see it? Oh, shit. The one that you, you've been sending around. Yeah. And then, like, bro, what? So tell me about it, man, because I thought you were showing me something from the 80s, but this is new. And it freaking it's, it's an AI, right? It's an AI robot. So you, it's controllable via mobile phone or voice commands. It fucking moves and shit, transforms back into the truck, transforms over. That myself, is this, I was like, uh, Kevin Smith re- uh, reviews on there, bro. Re- watch that. Kevin yeah. Smith gets fucking more, bro. Imagine. Ah, like, oh, you bastards, man. This is how you draw people in, bro. Taking my money, man. How much it, does that thing go for? Do you know? Huh? How much, I, got, how much has it been shown at the moment yet? So I need to double check. It's probably on for pre order. I'm going to check, but. Bloody hell, man. That's moist, bro. Any kid from the 80s who is coming close to his 40s now must have just busted a nut because when I saw that clip, I was like, is this graphics? And then I saw Kevin Smith and I was like, this shit is real, man. What the fuck? So sick. The thing fights and speaks and, man, oh, that was actually awesome. That's actually quite refreshing to see now that you're going to get toys that are interactive, bro. Like, Ah, oh, it's moist. It is moist. The, the AI, bro, I was watching. Did you watch that? What's that thing that came up on Netflix? Um, come on, bro. You must. It must have popped up on your Netflix about AI and privacy. Ah, oh, come on. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? And I was talking to Jacob about it and stuff. I mean, just by watching that, and I, and I know there's a lot of privacy and whatnot. That that show is about the privacy and facial recognition and loads of other shit. But just watching that. And just comparing it to the way AI is evolving. I mean, bro, as you said, this transform, bro, it's a transformer toy that transforms automatically. You don't have to; it does it automatically. Like, bro, that's that's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's like, oh, it's crazy, man. I I, I don't know. This is nuts. Um, Five thousand pieces, bro. Five thousand pieces. Is that what it's made out of? Six microchips in it. Whoa, that's mad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's AI, man. That's gonna Kill people, bro. It's, it's gonna come to that. We're getting to that. The the thing is, yeah, this is what oh. this is what this is what that Netflix documentary was about. I can't remember, I can't remember the name. Yeah, it's but, right, I know what you're talking about. That. Yeah, it was what they would what they determined and what they reach research found was the AI that has been done to because AI is based on data, previous data, it's based on history and data and whatnot. So the AI has actually been biased and it's racist. You wouldn't believe it. It's actually biased and racist based on many things because. You know, unfortunately, the world, the, unfortunately, the way things are, have been in the past, the AI and that data has been put into the the AI and the algorithm to to whatever to think of itself. But it's using that data. So, you know, for example, in the UK, they were using facial re- police were using facial recognition, 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 whatever, and it was mostly picking up and 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 miss um, it will capture someone's face and and miss place them with another criminal, but it was mostly happening to black people and brown people and stuff like that. Um, a lot of these um, in the, in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, I think it was, they, they to get into a building, the projects, the project building, bro, not, we're not talking about rich people, the projects and whatnot, you, they did, they took facial recognition and shit like that. And they're saying that they use it on poor people. Like you'd always think, oh, AI is going to go straight to the rich people. No, they, they use it on poor people first. And to see if it works and all this stuff, and they use it on rich. But some of, like I said, most of these things, it turned out to be bias and racist. The woman from MIT, she was, she tried to create a facial recognition thing and it didn't work. So when she put a white mask on, it worked. And that's because the faces that the AI has already got stored in, and I never realized this, but it's mostly recognizes white faces and it's the data behind it is mostly white people and whatnot mm. so AI, i mean i think it's a great documentary because it's showing like hopefully that it will develop and then that shit is but because it's based on history so mm. they'll pump more of a history in it anyway i say that because i made a joke i was like shit if, if terminate and shit does happen ai are gonna go straight for black people and muslim people and brown people and shit because it's already biased and whatnot 
Um, but if that's the way, if, if that show is saying that, that it's biased, then that's what happened for the fucking robot to think, hold on, we need to kill these black people and brown people first um, because they're the ones that's coming up as bad. So let's hope that AI Terminator doesn't come true because it's coming straight for us, bro. It's going to be us and John Connor and shit riding our bikes, big truck chasing us. <laughs> What's the doc? Why have I forgot it, bro? If you could pull it up, I don't, I, I don't know what it's called. Um, Hold on, let's see. Me, me and my fish brain are completely forgot. But check it out, man. It's very interesting. But hopefully this will lead to sure the involvement. Ten minutes of it, and I said, yeah, I'm going to come back and watch this. It was good. Well, I, I, I can't find it now, but I'll check it out. They put some yeah, uh, movies on Netflix now, man. I'm having a game, man. Yeah, check it out. Oh, I, for, oh you know what? I know, and, and that has both... Just to finish up on that, I find out the price, man. I might check that out. But um, <laughs> Netflix, I watched a film called um, Thunder. What do they call Thunderbolt? Something. Um, here I go with my fish brain. I can't remember shit. It was a comedy superhero movie. It had uh, Jason Bateman in it and um, that lady. That like Melissa. Something. Melissa, something. The comedy one. It was hilarious, bro. Troops. What's that? Thunder Troops or something. That's it, yeah. It, but it was hilarious. It was stupid as hell, but it was hilarious. Jason, I don't want to spoil Well, it, it, it doesn't matter, but Jason Bateman had these crab hands. His name, his villain name was the Crab, and but it, it was hilarious. <laughs> I love to it. Check was it. super stupid, but it was just funny. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those movies you just sit down and watch it in the background and whatnot. Um, but he, Jason Bateman and his crabness was giving me jokes, bro. Um, yeah. So do check that one out too. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Definitely. Definitely. All right, man. Let's get on to we'll do the this. main event, bro. The main event. Main event. The Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode four, guys. Oh, my God. Like, these, they know what they're doing. Marvel are really good at what they do. Uh, they do character. I swear they do character things. Anyway, Kurt Russell's son, you're basic, bros. You're basic. <laughs> Well, first of all, first of all, bro, he's getting death threats in real life. So people are people are basic. That's bad. That's bad. That's, that's bad. bad. The guy is playing a character that's supposed to be hated and blah, 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 blah. And people, you real human beings in the real world are sending him death threats. People are ridiculous, bro. So first of all, people are basic. Uh, yeah, you idiots need to. Basic. You guys, oh, come on, man. The character he plays has to be that character. Okay? It's a shame that he... He's doing this part, but no, man, that's that's wrong for you. For the toxic fans, you guys are wrong. For the Ridiculous. toxic fans, you guys are wrong. But that aside, bloody hell, what an episode, bro! What an episode, brilliant, fucking brilliant, bro. I'm so I don't know what to say, bro. That episode gave us a lot, you know. Spoiler yeah. alert to everyone if you haven't seen it, but I'm going straight to the end, bro. That's the first time the shield. The shield, okay, let's be real. Steve killed a few people, a few couple of hundred probably. So that's still that shield does have death on it. On it. Yeah. But this is the first time the shield had blood on it. And also, I'm not gonna say the blood was innocent because they're part of a group sort of thing and 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 um, Falcon, uh, he's trying to he's trying to speak to him, he kind of relates, you know what I mean? They, he's they're kind of like um, how do I pull it? Uh, uh, Quicksilver and, and Wonder, right? That's how yeah. um, Steve sees them, right? That's right. So Sam seeing them in the same sort of light. So that's what I'm saying. Like, but the way he killed that dude and put and there was blood on that shield. That's the first time there was blood on that shield. It's been misrepresented bad, mm. uh, and it was fucking brilliant. It was done yeah. so good, so good. Baron Zemo is a character I'm liking more and more as well, and and it's really, really cool the way he's he he, he intervenes, the way he he's quite a smooth character, you know. Very he's, smooth. You know his Turkish delights and his strawberry teas and shit like Lovely that. Lovely jacket, his jacket, which is awesome with the fur. He's 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 a really good character. I I can see I can see where he's coming from. Uh, I think the time he's been locked up has made him more optimistic about things and the way he carries on he's good man i like him he's a good character man but these flag smashers you know you get to see the serum that they took from mandrapore causing some drama with that guy the power breaker which i need to find out more about 
he's another character and you know Zemo shoots that girl vows he breaks you know he's got a good point and I agree with him man why did he have to get one of them John Walker I mean it was it, we were waiting for that we were waiting for that yeah. to happen and if it goes back to Captain America 1 with the first scientist remember he was saying like this serum will make good great and bad worse and it rep- it, it elevates your or escalates your your character who you are and that's what it's done to him man because we all saw John Walker like you know he's taken advantage of being Captain America he's taken advantage of this shield and this thing that he has like, like you know remember the episode before he's like, like do you know the thing is I I know that he feels like he needs to prove something yeah well there's that too and but I, and also I think and they haven't really touched on this, but he's a war veteran, and he, I think there's PTSD and shit on his side as well. I mean, they they haven't really touched on that. But Steve, for example, he went in pure hearted, and he had a good values, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, mm. but say if, for example, he went to war, came back, then they gave it to him. He might have been fucked up, like with PTSD no. and shit. That's true. I don't know. So so, it, but they haven't touched on that. But I feel like you know, you know, he might have some of that shit. But anyway, in the character, in the comic books, he's supposed to do go on that rampage and whatnot. I think his parents died in the comic books. So he goes on a revenge rampage, I think. But, um, bro, I mean, he, he's, he's, his boy, what's his boy's name? Star, what, Star- no. Oh, something. Yeah, something like that. He, he, he got killed. He, and he was great. He, in this episode, I, I liked him. He was a voice of reason. Mm. Um, you know, um, he was a voice of reason and he gave Sam, like, that time, like, let Sam go speak to him. And I don't know, man. I, th- I think this episode showed... Lena is showing more, obviously, the demise of, of the S.H.I.E.L.D. and what it represents and brutality like that's been happening in the world, the real life world by an authority figures and whatnot. But also Sam, I think this is, this, is, this is the transition period of Sam probably seeing that, you know, one, he's ready. I think he's ready because the way he judged these characters is exactly how Steve would have judged them, like wanting yeah. to talk to them first. And two, I think, you know, the S.H.I.E.L.D., he was thinking maybe I should destroy it or whatnot. I think now he might be more ready to to take it not just to be captain america and that responsibility which i think he's leaning to but more to protect it as well it's like that's right i if he didn't give it away this shield would not have blood on it now yeah and you know what i mean so he might there might be that element too is like i need to actually protect it and and do justice because when i gave it to the government they fucking fucked it up and that's ultimately his fault for giving it away but he might want to protect it now. And I think, like I said, he's transitioning well, man. He's doing... He's, he's, he is. You can see it, man. Definitely, definitely. Uh, to see Bucky in Wakanda, it was good to see that and the oh, characters sick. come together again. That scene with Bucky not being under control of Hydra anymore was quite emotional. Yeah. You know, she was like, it's time. we got to try this now. Don't worry, I won't let you hurt anybody. He didn't want that to go through because he was scared that he was still programmed, you know what I mean? So yeah. that was a quite touching scene. But then the way they bust up Cap and her boy, his boy, man, and he was like, they're not even super soldiers, but they just know how to fight, the fight with Destroy honor, man. Destroy them. Destroy. I love the way Bucky and, and Sam were just sitting back watching. Like, do we do it? Like, let him get beat and... They really chiefed him up. But I think that was all brilliant because it, it just kind of just led up to um, him taking the serum. Because he was questioning it, right? I remember he was asking his boy, do you think I should take it? Da, 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 da. But th- it was all things leading up to that. And he was like, man. And they, bro, the way she at the end, remember she kicked the shield up like like Steve did in, in, in Winter Soldier? Bro, that was awesome. That was sick. Um, that was, bro... This is how good these shows are, man. Wakanda, it doesn't... Have, this is how good it is. It didn't have to be Black Panther. May you rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. It didn't have to be Shuri. It was just... And it wasn't even Michonne. Sorry, I'm calling her Michonne. It's not... That's her Walking Dead name. But it wasn't even her. It was Akoya. Akoya, right? It wasn't even Akoya. It was second in charge, bro. And I was still moist. That's how brilliant Marvel are with building their characters mm. like let's fold them in there and everyone's like oh shit and you still accept it whereas in the past or whatever like if they didn't build them properly you'd probably like why are they there why isn't it shui why isn't it a different black panther some shit like that you know what i mean that's how freaking good marvel are man they they're so good at character building 
in this universe. They're making sure everyone in this universe who needs to be known is known. And I love that, bro, okay. because I didn't need to see Suri. I didn't need to see Okoye. I didn't need to see, to see any Black Panther or anything. They were freaking amazing as it is. That's awesome. I love that. No, it was really good. Really good. Really good. All right, I'm looking forward to next week's episode, man. Two more. Left. I want to see two more. That's crazy, man. I want to see. I hope they touch more on Isaiah. Is it Isaiah? No. Yeah. I hope they touch more on that. And I have this feeling Steve's going to make an appearance. I have a feeling, bro, at the end, Steve's going to make. I don't know, man. It's going to. I have a feeling that Steve's going to come in. Old, old Steve, obviously. Um, there's some, I mean, there's no rumors, and thank God there's no rumors of like special characters because one division even though i loved it man that rumor of someone special coming in was just like nobody who was it there was nobody there um so i don't want to i'm glad there's no fucking rumors everybody was on it bro and that's what i love about uh the the, them doing the tv shows they've got the audience reaction bro the audience are making theories bro you know how uh special that is for to be a part of you say imagine it was right you know what i mean like with, with 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 the mandalorian there was no rumors. There was no speculations. We didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. As soon as that X-Wing came through, bro, anybody who loves Star Wars fucking shit their pants, bro. You know what I mean? They just, what the fuck? Because it was a good thing. So I think that's what they need to go with. Like, I think that was the problem with uh, Division was people were trying to make too much things. Just watch it for what it is. And when it happens, then be excited about yeah. it but that's the it's gonna happen yeah but that's the good thing about that's the good that's the thing though with these marvel comics there's so much speculations you can make because there's so much source material mm. from back in the day so it could link in so many different ways people are gonna have no choice but to make you know certain um rumors and whatnot but i just don't know how the wonder vision rumors got so big where we actually believed it you know what i'm saying like someone's gonna show up so anyway, I'm glad there's none of that in this one because I don't, I've got no expectation. But I have this feeling Steve's going to show up. I mean, when Mark Bernard said it, said it weeks ago that he just sees this scene with old man, old Steve and Isaiah sitting together having a conversation. I just, I love that idea. I want, I want that. I really want that because this whole season's touched on it and it is fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, and they, hopefully they touch on it. I want to see more Isaiah. I, I, I want to see the episode... Where, I, oh man, I mean, if they've done these little episodes of where, you know, Isaiah goes to fight Winter Soldier, you know, that, that little scene there. I, bro, that's a whole episode. I would love to see that. I would love to see a whole show on Isaiah, bro. Yeah, um, definitely. It's an interesting character. Very interesting. And that, they popped it in here, bro. You never know, bro. Now we're in times where we never know what, 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 what we're going to see. So, nah, awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm excited. Very excited. And then, yeah. Oh. Uh, shut it, bro. Ah, oh. that's your whole lot. Yeah. Uh, remind Too me before quick. we log off. Uh, let me see if Alara's uh, will bring her over. Yeah, let's do that. I haven't seen her in a while. I need to catch up with her. But yeah, it's two a.m. here, man. I'm tired yeah. of myself. I did get my new. Um, you know, I'm still excited. I got my new Samsung S21 Plus Ultra Phantom. But, bro, I'm still messing around with it, but this phone is sick. I mean, I, I'm not really a tech geek. I don't know much about it, but the camera is sick. You saw what yeah. I sent you the other day. Camera is sick, bro. Sick. Get some photos. Uh, get some photos done. Get some photos bro, done. Bro, oh. like, when I just take a picture of my apartment's not too big, but when I take a picture of it from here, it captures everything. Oh, I, I love it, bro. I love it. Like, I'm not a tech geek, and, you know, I'm, I'm not familiar with photog- photography and all that sort of stuff, but yeah. just to see the wide lens and, and the zoom, oh, my God. Moist. Got you moist. moist. I need to mess around with it more, though, but so far the phone's been awesome. Man, you got to start downloading some apps and start using uh, some of them editing apps so you can do some stuff. I need to learn more about it and stuff. I, I get very lazy with the apps that I got. I just take what I got, and I, I, I'm not very creative with my, with my phone. Uh, and all that sort of stuff. Like it's got beautiful um, screensavers animated. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I might. Just, I want a Marvel or DC one. I want that kind of geeky, but animated. I really want one. One of those ones. I want to try and find one. Downloads those good ones. Yeah, I want. I want a good one. I saw some Samurai ones. Maybe I'll get one of those. But I wanna. I wanna try and take advantage of this phone and 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 it's all all its capabilities. Because I don't. I don't do that. And I'm. I'm. A, I'm a bit of a spoiled prick. 
I get these phones from work, so mm-hmm. it's not like I pay for them and shit. So <laughs> I, you know, what I'm saying like I, I want to value it. What's the the reason that you put down? Because I remember you put it in the group, and everybody was trying to give reasons. Oh, I asked. <laughs> I had to make a business case. I remember asking the group, hey, boys, give me some ideas. Um, I ended up just making up some shit, man, that I just need to do emails and my new phone, my covered phone is not operating properly, which is perfectly operating fine. But to be fair, the battery does die quick, but <laughs> I just, my boss saw right through it. He's like, yeah, all that bullshit approved. I was like, all right, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, yeah, I know. I'm a, like I said, man, I'm spoiled when it comes to mobile phones because I haven't paid a bill in 10, 10 years or something. And I get all these new phones and shit. Anyway, I shouldn't be exposing this shit on, 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 on the podcast or whatnot. Yeah, thank you, no. Dow Jones. Take it thank, easy, you. Man. Take, thank you, thank you. Thank hey, you. it was my 13 year anniversary at Dow Jones, just to, uh, the 10th of April, I think it was. 13 real? years. But the, basically, after the Easter holidays, every time after the Easter holidays, that, that next day, um, the Tuesday, um, is my is my Dow Jones anniversary? That's when I started, 2018. Yeah. 13 years later, I'm in Singapore and uh, still doing the same shit. I'm joking. I'm doing a bit more, but it's it's still been amazing, you know. I mean, you know, the company's done me well, so I, I, I you know, I'm not a slave to the company. Don't get me wrong, but I have a mutual respect and understanding. You pay me, and you've been done. You've been good to me, and I'm gonna do the best I can for the job. Um, exactly. Exactly. Anyway, 13 years, bloody hell, who, who would have known? Time flies, bro. Time flies. Nobody knows. Yeah, time flies. Time flies. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll, we'll end it on that note. Again, guys, massive thank you for the support on the channel. I did do a giveaway last week, but nobody commented or nave, and so you didn't win it, and I ended up selling it on eBay, so sorry, please. Uh, <laughs> but I've actually got loads. I've still got loads more stuff, so I need to get engagement from you listeners and i have stuff to give away for you guys so if anybody drops a comment to say even hello and you're uk based i'm gonna send you something so come on guys let's get some engagements let me know what else you'd like to hear on the show as well but make sure you check us out apple podcast spotify uh, amazon music uh soundcloud youtube we're on it all guys massive massive thank you and instagram page make sure you follow the instagram page the Brothers Geek Out podcast. Yeah, but it will be on the description, right? Yes, everything will be in the description. All right, bro. Take care, man. Cool. Peace.